Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And as I promised all of you, I was going to be getting my dehydrator back out and start dehydrating stuff to show you how easy of a process this really is. So for all you people that have been waiting patiently for me to do this, I finally get, get dug out the dehydrator, went to Walmart, I bought four 12-ounce bag of frozen peas for 78 cents a piece. I got a good deal. All right. Now, I should have got five because I have five trays. One 12 ounce bag fits on these trays. Now, the dehydrator that I am using is the Hamilton Beach. The item number is uh, 32100A Digital Hydrator. It comes with five trays. Right now on Amazon, it's $60. If you clip the coupon that's right there with it, you save 11%, which brings the price down to $53.24 right now on Amazon. It's a great dehydrator, especially for the beginners. It has five trays. It only comes with one tray to do like fruit roll-ups and things, and one screen to do like your peas and small objects that are gonna fall through the holes. But you can also go on and order the silicone mats that you have to cut out that I show you in this video. And you can reuse those. And when you're done, you just wash them with a little bit of soap and water, hang them up, let them dry, and you can reuse them over and over and over again. It's a one-time price. I forget exactly what I paid, but they're right there on Amazon. If you're looking at this particular product, they are listed right below. So, I mean, probably for under, I'd say, 65, 70 bucks, you could be all set up and start dehydrating your own fruits and vegetables and things and start canning them. Because if you can your fruits and vegetables, especially your vegetables, your vegetables will last. If you put them in a can, vacuum seal them, they're gonna be good for at least 15 years, folks. So that's a pretty good return on your dehydrated products. So for further ado, let's get to the video and we're gonna start walking you through the steps of exactly how to do this and the end product. So I'll see you all in a few minutes. Okay, so as we discussed, you got your dehydrator. You want to dehydrate some peas or something small. So you take this off and your dehydrator came with one screen only. Now, doesn't that just suck? So, what you can do is, you can buy more of these screens, and you're going to pay more money. You can pick up the silicone little screens. Alright? And uh, this is the company you get them from, right from Amazon. All you need is a pen a pair of scissors and you take one of these lay it nice and flat out so it looks like so and all you're gonna do is take one of your trays all right you have your tray, you flip it upside down, you lay it on your screen, like so. Use your handy dandy little pen, and you're going to trace right around and make yourself a template. I'm going to go all the way around, and we're going to cut it out, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we've cut that out. Then you also have to do the same thing with the hole here because it's a solid piece. So you just take and trace the same thing. You pop that down in there, just like this. A nice fit. These are silicone. You can wash them, reuse them. And now you can do all your small projects that you want to do and dehydrate, which we're going to be doing peas. That'll be coming up shortly. The best vegetables are peas, frozen. Any frozen vegetables or fruits. You just take and you just take and take your frozen peas. I got them right at Walmart, 12 ounce bag. And we're gonna dump and put them right in here. 
So I'm gonna open all these up, put them in here, and then I'll show you what the product is right before we turn it on. All right, let's clarify something real quick before we go any further. Why do you use the frozen vegetables compared to buying fresh vegetables and doing it yourself? One, the frozen vegetables are a lot easier because a process has already been done for you in advance before they were flash frozen and put into bags. What is to take in place is, is if you do your own fresh vegetables, you have to blanch them first in hot water. Once you blanch them, then you have to take them out and put them in a cold water bath. At that point, then you have to take them out and let them dry a little bit and then put them on your tray and then you can start your process of dehydration. Whereas in if you use the frozen vegetables, that process has already been done for you, which means it is better to use frozen vegetables to dehydrate than it is to do fresh vegetables. You're getting the same nutrition and nutrients and everything else that you would from fresh to frozen because all they did with the frozen is they blanched them and then flash froze them. Saved you a step, saved you a lot of time. You take, dump them out on the tray, spread them out nice and evenly, throw them on, turn on your timer, whatever temperature you're supposed to be and how long and next thing you know, you are done and just saved yourself a lot of work and a lot of heartache depending on what vegetable you are doing. That's the reason why you want to buy frozen vegetables to dehydrate. Just to clarify. Now, back to the video. So as you can see, we have trays. We just stack them right on top of each other. And this one here goes on the top so the air can come through all the way. Just get them to go right on there. This is a five tray system, but I only needed four trays. All right, take, put the lid on. My dehydrator book says that you set it for nine hours at 125 degrees and start. And we'll let this run overnight and we'll have dry peas in the morning. I'll check back with you then. So it's the next morning. So as you can see, they dehydrated overnight. Take the lid off. You can see how they shrunk down. Now, to test the doneness, you pick one up, and if it's nice and crunchy like that, they're done. So we're just going to let all these cool, and then I'm going to put them into a canning jar and vacuum seal them. And we'll see how much we get out of these four bags. I'll be back shortly. Hmm. Okay, so as you all saw, that was a pretty easy process. You have to just, like I showed you, cut out those screens. All right, make sure they fit in your trays nice and neat. The reusable, just wash them when you're done and you can use them over and over again, one time by. Now that was 12 ounces of peas per bag. Four bags, I did four trays and I got one large mouth jar full of dry peas. Not bad, all right? Now, these things will last for 15 years. I used my vacuum sealer that has the attachment, put that on here, vacuum sealed it. Now, if you wanted to, for everybody that's gonna ask, yes, you could put oxygen absorbers in here also, if that's something you feel you'd like to do, then go right ahead and do it, all right? It's whatever makes you feel good makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside, makes you feel like you're succeeding and it's gonna last. But for me, I'm just going with the good old vacuum seal, screw the lid on, put it on the shelf, and there we go. Saves you a little bit of money because you're not buying the oxygen absorbers. Now, if you don't have a vacuum sealer that has the attachment where you can vacuum seal these, 
you are going to need to buy the oxygen absorbers that you can throw in here and put the lid on, screw it tight, and set it on a shelf, and eventually you'll hear the little lid pop. If it doesn't pop, you didn't put enough oxygen absorbers in there. Now this particular can right here, I'd put at least two 300 cc's in here just to make sure because if you really look close, you can see there's a lot of little space where air can be inside there. So it's gonna take a lot to pull that out. It may not look like a lot, but unless it's a solid, you're gonna to need to pull the air out of that. So that's the first can. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next. I may do a few more peas. Um, I do have uh, some more canning jars. So I'm gonna do some more peas, I believe. Um, next, I'd like to use some carrots and we'll take it from there, maybe some fruits. But you're gonna start seeing a few more videos on dehydration. Now, something I'd really love to try to do that I haven't done personally um, is my own beef jerky. Now, I do know a lot of people that do that and they love their own beef jerky. Now, let's wait here. You can marinate it in anything that you want. You just have to make sure that you're getting the right cut of meat and the marinade that you love to eat. And this way here, you could do your own jerky at home instead of paying between six and 10 bucks for that little dinky bag that you buy in the store, even at Walmart. So my name is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all learned a little something from this video. Maybe it helps you get you started. Like I said, go online to Amazon right now. They got a great deal on this dehydrator, you know, for $53. How can you go wrong? It's a great beginners. You know, I mean, you can't spend a lot of money, but hey, this is the item that you want to take a look at and you may want to invest in, especially if you are beginning and are on a tight budget, a little over 50 bucks and get you going and you can start dehydrating all your own foods. This way here, you are prepared for the future, whatever may come our way. So until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side.